Charlie and I came first came together well many moons ago and we have worked for quite a long time now on a various number of initiatives including last year the documentary with the Duke of Cambridge really uh, for me it was my first real foray into calling for more serious action because even though I've had a, a love of conservation for a very long time I hadn't quite appreciated just how bad the situation had become and it was seeing a video in research for a lecturer that Charlie had asked me to host at the Royal Geographic Society of a rhino still alive having had her face chainsawed off uh, to take her horn and it, you can see stills of animals that have been slaughtered but to see an animal still alive um, and in such agony was when I said to Charlie we have to do more and how can I help and really over to Charlie because that, he's really facilitated so much. Well that, that, that then presented an opportunity we were looking to move um, some rhino uh, from the UK, from uh, uh, Port Lim Zoo, out to one of our uh, supporter sanctuaries in Tanzania. And, uh, and I asked um, the Duke of Cambridge whether he would be willing to support this initiative, and that led to actually um, Kate having an, uh, doing an interview for the BBC. Um, and I think from that you immediately understood the passion that, that the Duke has in this subject and the commitment that he has um, to, towards it. Absolutely, and, and that he was able to be so candid and that his, his passion and anger about the situation really came across. Absolutely, I mean, and, and I take my hat off to the Prince of Wales and his ISU unit um, for really bringing this, this gathering together. And it's, you know, what today we'll do, of course, is actually raise the profile mm. of this issue dramatically. You know, uh, we've seen as Tusk how any time the, the Duke of Cambridge speaks on our behalf, it, it gets picked up right across the world. And I have no doubt that uh, that is exactly what's happening right now. Um, and it's amazing that just even within this country, people who, you know, I know well who love Africa, but they are still unaware of, of the true horror and the, the, the statistics of this crime. And uh, so events like this will, will, will help immensely in, in getting that message across. So if you are watching and you want to get involved, it's hashtag end wildlife crime. And um, hopefully all together we can come to some resolution before it's too late.